Hi, in this video, I will show you how you can uh, set up your iPhone 11 Pro for the first time. So first, press on the power button on the side here, press and hold, and this will switch up or switch on your phone for the first time. So just wait for the phone to boot up. This won't take long. Also, I hope you um, enjoy your iPhone 11 Pro if this is the first time you got it. And if you just got it after its release, uh, you should be able to enjoy it. So here you will see the hello screen. Swipe up and then tap on English or choose a language that you want to use. I'm going to choose English and I'm going to choose Australia as my region. Then tap on set up manually. And tap on continued. Then at this point, you can uh, set up Face ID if you wanted to. Otherwise, you can uh, tap on Set Up Later in Settings. In here, go, go in ahead and put in a password or a passcode. Now, you can tap on the passcode options. In here, you can choose a custom alpha numeric code. You could choose a custom numeric code for digit for digit numeric code or don't use passcode at all. I'm going to choose don't use passcode at all to make this tutorial easy. And I choose don't use passcode. Next, so okay, now we want to um, be able to transfer or restore data uh, from iCloud backup, from a Mac or PC or move data from Android or don't transfer data or app at all. So now, uh, depending on if you have an old iPhone or if you want to move data from Android, so depending on what you want to do. So if you have um, an iPhone, say an iPhone 7, and if you have uh, backup all your data uh, to the cloud, you can then restore to your phone. So if you uh, haven't done so, uh, make sure you go to your old iPhone and backup to the cloud. And then from here, you can restore from the iCloud backup. Or if you uh, want, you can also restore from the PC as well. Okay, so for each of these uh, tutorials, I'm going to choose Don't Transfer Apps and Data. And in here, you can uh, uh, put in your Apple ID or you can uh, skip all together. This is uh, totally your choice. Uh, you can, if you want to sign into your iCloud, you can put in your Apple ID email. So at that point, you can also sign in. Now, if you scroll down, scroll down to the bottom, you can see you can use a different Apple IDs for iCloud and iTunes. So it's kind of asks you, can you use? Um, yes, you can. You can sign into your iCloud on one account, and you can sign into iTunes with another account. So in here, I'm going to skip the Apple ID. I can do that later in settings, and then tap on set up later in settings, and then tap on don't use and then tap on continued, then tap on, so if you want to use iMessage and FaceTime, you can tap on continued, or you can tap on not now. And then, um, about location services, this will allow you to use um, GPS. And uh, for example, if you want to use maps or any Google maps, you're gonna be able to need to use um, location services. So I'm going to turn on, so tap on enable location services and then, do you want to use Siri or not? Siri can help you a lot using voice command. So I would recommend you use Siri. So tap on continued. And then we say, hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. So at this stage, all we do is we're still trying to train Siri to um, to understand and remember our voice. So it's basically learning our pitch, the voice in our mouth. And so once it's ready, just tap on the continue button. And in here, screen time, do you want to set up screen time? Uh, screen time basically control um, how much time you spend on your device. It uh, will give you warning if you are um, spending too much time on the screen. You can go through this in settings. So I'm going to tap on set up later in settings. 
and then uh, finally you can uh, choose uh, to share with Apple about your iPhone usage so if you don't want to um, um, to um, reveal your privacy then just tap on don't share don't share and true tone display iPhone automatically adapts to ambient lighting conditions to make colors appear consistent in different environments so see without true tone display so just tap on continue so this is something new uh, to the iPhone 11 Pro I haven't seen this before so I'm just going to tap on continue and then again this is new to the iOS 13 you could choose uh, light theme or dark themes uh, it's really up to your personal your own taste so uh, by default it is set to light so you could choose dark theme, dark theme if you like or you could choose light so it's your choice and then tap on continued and then tap on continued and then tap on continue again so switch between recent apps swipe up further from the bottom edge then release to show your recent apps so just give you some information how you can uh, use the device quickly access controls so swipe down from the top right edge to open control center press and hold on the control to reveal more options continue and finally welcome to iPhone swipe up to get started and that's it so finally we went through all the settings in iPhones to get to the home screen and that's it that's how you can set up your iPhone for the first time now after that um, you can uh, go ahead and uh, uh, put in the SIM card into your phone to use the phone it uses a nano SIM so here's the SIM tray on the side and there it is that is the SIM tray it's actually quite thick now compared to before so that is the SIM tray and that's how you can insert or remove a SIM card once you're in here you can also set up uh, mail if you want to immediately use mail you can uh, tap on mail to set up in here you can uh, use iCloud uh, Google Yahoo Outlook plus other services to set up email uh, FaceTime you can uh, go to FaceTime now if you have signed into iCloud then you will be able to sync contact down to your phone it will do that automatically uh, if uh, provided that on your old phone that you already have uh, sync the your contacts to the iCloud and once you sign in it should you should be able to uh, the phone should automatically download your contact information down to your phone just give it some time uh, for all the data to uh, sync to your phone even uh, photos and all that stuff that you sync to your iCloud it will automatically uh, slowly sync down to your phone and what are the things so you after that you can basically make calls um, tap on the phone icon to make calls you can uh, tap on messages to start messaging so in here you can create your own memjoy mem memoji memoji so yeah you can do that later so I'm just going to set up later so that's messages uh, camera so with the iPhone 11 Pro uh, you have three cameras allow camera to access your locations uh, I'll just choose don't allow for now new in camera capture outside the frame see the capture the area outside the frame of the photos to record videos to improve compositions and new shutter button tap and hold to the shutter to record a quick videos drag the shutter to the left for burst shot so it's just giving you some information so tap and hold to make a quick videos as you can see it. and if we tap and hold and then tap to the left to make quick burst shots so i'm trying that doesn't seem to working So if I tap to the left, it just kind of like um, take um, record the videos instead. So it's still left and not to the right. So, so for some reason, I keep thinking it's, it's the right. So just drag the buttons to the left to take the shot. There you go. So let's see how far it goes up to. So that's. So I don't think it's we ever stopped. So that's gone up to 100 photos already in uh, for burst shots. So that's the camera right there. And you can uh, basically 
um, changing the camera lens. So there's three camera lens now. So you can basically just drag on that to change the zoom in and out. And that's basically uh, automatically switch between different cameras as you zoom in or out. So that's the camera there. And then you got photos. In here, there's photos. So in photos, you can uh, view the photos that's the photos that you have recently captured. Then you got uh, maps, so you can uh, use maps straight away. Uh, reminders, notes, and news, and app stores. If you go into app stores, you need to sign in to um, iTunes. If you sign into iCloud, then you should be automatically signed into iTunes. And uh, from there, you can uh, download apps to your phone and start using apps. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.